The founder of Kodokan Judo, Jigoro Kano, referred to the three purposes of Judo training as physical education, learning attack and defense, and moral training. The Kime no Kata was created around 1888 to study how to attack and defend. However, with the change in lifestyles, it became necessary to come up with a new set of kata more suited to the times. Therefore, in 1956, the Kodokan established Kodokan Goshinjutsu, a set of 21 self-defense techniques which are divided into two categories, Toshu, or against unarmed attack, and Buki, or against armed attack. Let's begin with a demonstration of the entire set of Kodokan Goshinjutsu techniques, including the proper etiquette and use of weapons. The two make a standing bow to the front, face each other and bow again. When handling the weapons, the uke sits correctly in seiza. He places the three weapons before him in the order of dagger, stick and pistol. The blade of the dagger should be turned towards him so that the point is facing left. The first technique, ryote dori, two hand hold. The tori controls the uke's right arm and twists his wrist in a kote hineri. The second, hidari eridori, left lapel hold. The tori grasps and opens his left lapel and strikes at the uke's eyes with the back of his right hand. He then controls the uke's right elbow with an udehishigi tegatami. The third, migi eridori, right lapel hold. The tori controls the uke's right wrist with a kote gaishi and turns his body to the left until he falls. The fourth, kata ude dori, single hand hold. The tori kicks the uke's knee and controls his right elbow with an ude hishigi waki gatame. The fifth, Ushiro Eridori, collar hold from behind. The tori clamps the uke's right wrist between his left shoulder and neck to control him. The sixth, Ushiro Jime, choke from behind. The tori controls the uke's right arm with his right shoulder and ducks under the uke's right armpit. The seventh, Kakai Dori, Seize and hold from behind. The tori brings his right forearm up against the uke's right elbow to twist his arm and throw him. The first technique, naname uchi, slanting strike. The tori throws the uke with a migi osoto otoshi. The second, agotsuki, uppercut. The tori uses his left hand to push the uke's right elbow up towards his face and throws him forward to the left. The third, gammenski, thrust punch to face. The tori dodges the uke's blow and controls him with a hadaka jime. The fourth, maigeri, front kick. The tori grabs the uke's ankle and twists his toes outwards to make him fall on his back. The fifth, yokogeri, side kick. The tori deflects the uke's kick and seizes his momentary loss of balance to pull him down. After the self-defense techniques against an unarmed attack at a distance, the tori and uke proceed to the techniques against armed attack. When handling the dagger, stick and pistol, the uke kneels down on his left knee. The first technique, tsukake, thrust. The tori controls the uke with an ude hishigi tegatame. The second, chokutsuki, straight thrust. 
The Tori breaks the uke's balance to his right front corner and controls him with an ude hishigi waki gatame. The third, nanametsuki, slanting stab. When taking the dagger away, be careful not to grab the blade. After finishing with the dagger, the uke returns to fetch the stick. He holds it so that it is pointed at the floor. First technique, furiage, upswing against stick. The tori throws the uke with a migi o sotogari. The second, furi oroshi, downswing against stick. The tori hits the uke in the face and then in the uto between the brows. The third, morote ski, two hand thrust against stick. The uke should aim to thrust the stick into the tori's solar plexus. Moving on to the pistol. First technique, shomen zuke, pistol at the abdomen. The tori should twist his hips to disarm the uke, making sure not to move his feet when doing so. The second, koshigamai, pistol held at the side. Here too, it's important to twist the hips. And finally, haimenzuke, pistol against the back. The tori removes the gun from the uke in the way of a kote gaishi. After completing the final technique, the uke returns to pick up the other weapons. He sits in seiza and picks up the dagger and stick, holding them properly. The two take one step back and bow to each other. They then turn to the front and do a standing bow to end the cutter. And now let's look at the main points of each technique. First technique, ryote dori, two hand hold. The main point is to apply a kote hineri and control the wrist. The tori frees his right arm by bringing his elbow forward and strikes the uke's kasumi, temple, with the knife edge of his right hand. He then controls the uke with a kote hineri. Maintaining his hold, he steps back with his right foot and turns to the right to control the uke's right arm and twist the wrist. Let's take a closer look at how the tori shakes off the uke's left hand. He steps back with his left and brings his right elbow forward, using the leverage of the elbow to free his arm. And this is how the tori controls the uke's wrist. He clamps the uke's right arm under his left arm, holds the wrist with his left hand, fingers up, and twists the uke's wrist with his right hand. Second technique, hidari eridori. Thank you. 
Note how the tori twists the uke's right wrist in a kote hineri to control his right arm. The tori extends the fingers of his right hand and strikes at the uke's eyes. He applies a kote hineri and puts his left hand on the uke's right elbow in yahazu, fingers up, and brings him face down on the mat and controls him with an ude hishigi te gatame. Third technique, Migi Eridori, right lapel hold. <coughs> the uke grabs the front of the tori's right lapel and attempts to pull him down. The tori, however, delivers an upper cut with his right fist and controls the uke's right wrist by applying a kote gaishi with his left hand to throw him forward. The tori should deliver the upper cut as soon as the uke attempts to pull him down. The tori then quickly inserts his left thumb between the uke's little finger and third finger and supports his hold from underneath with his right hand. The uke should continue to hold the tori's lapel. The tori should allow the uke to hold on to his lapel while controlling him. <coughs> Fourth technique, katao de dori, single hand hold. The uke controls the tori's elbow with both hands and pushes him forward. The tori turns, kicks the uke's left knee and locks his elbow with an ude hishigi waki gatame. The uke steps forward with his left and grabs the tori's wrist with his right hand and elbow with his left. He then pushes the tori forward, stepping forward with his left foot, right foot, then left. The tori steps forward with his left and turns to kick the inside of the uke's left knee with his right foot. The tori should grab the uke's right wrist from underneath with his right hand so that the thumb is facing inwards. Fifth technique, Ushiro Eridori, collar hold from behind. The tori controls the uke's right elbow with an ude hishigi ude gatame. The uke grabs the back of the tori's collar and steps back with his left foot to pull the tori down. The tori, however, pivots to the left and raises his left arm to protect his face and with his right fist punches the uke in the solar plexus. He immediately clamps the uke's right wrist between his neck and shoulder and applies an ude hishigi ude gatame to control him. The tori uses his left arm to protect himself and delivers a right punch into the uke's solar plexus. He then clamps the uke's right wrist between his neck and shoulder and applies an ude hishigi ude gatame to uke's right elbow to control him, supporting tori's own left hand with his right. The uke, once he grabs the back of the tori's collar, should step back with his left foot and pull sharply. <coughs> Sixth technique, ushiro jime, choke from behind. The tori twists his body and pulls the uke face down onto the mat and applies an ude hishigi tegatame to control him. 
As soon as the uke attempts a hadakajime, the tori tucks in his chin and pulls down on the uke's right forearm with both hands to control the arm and twists his body to free himself. He then presses the uke's right elbow down to pull him down and controls him with an ude hishigi tegatame. The tori controls the uke's right arm with his right shoulder to slip free of the uke's right armpit. Seventh technique, kakai dori, seize and hold from behind. <coughs> the uke puts his arms around the tori in a bear hug. The tori immediately stomps on the uke's right instep with his right heel and frees himself by lowering his hips and pushing his elbows aside. He then pushes the uke's right elbow up to twist his arm and throws him to the right back corner. The tori should grab the uke's right wrist from the top and bring his right forearm up against the uke's right elbow to twist his arm and throw him. After completing kakaidori, the uke and tori move on to the techniques against an unarmed attack from a distance. First technique, naname uchi, slanting strike. The uke aims a blow at the tori's left temple. The tori evades the blow and throws the uke with an osoto otoshi. The uke aims at the tori's left temple. The tori evades the blow by parrying the uke's wrist with his left hand. He then delivers an uppercut with his right fist to throw the uke with a migi o soto otoshi. Be careful not to turn the throw into an o soto gari. When executing the throw, the tori should place his right hand in yahazu, thumb to the left, on the uke's throat. Second technique, ango tsuki. Uppercut. The tori keeps his left arm extended as he throws the uke forward to the left. The tori sweeps up with his right hand to deflect the uke's uppercut and grabs his right wrist and then with his left hand pushes the uke's right elbow towards his face. The tori takes a big step forward with his left foot and throws the uke forward to the left. Note how the tori locks the uke's right elbow. The tori grabs the uke's right wrist with his right hand and his elbow with his left hand thumb down. The tori uses his right hand to twist the uke's right arm while using his left hand to push the uke's elbow toward his face. Third technique, gammenski, thrust punch to face. <laughs> the uke steps forward and tries to punch the tori in the face with his left fist. The tori evades the blow and punches the uke's left side with his right fist, following with a hadakajime.
When the Uke signals defeat, the Tori releases his hold and moves to the left. The Uke falls back naturally and performs Ukemi. Fourth technique, Maigeri, front kick. The Tori should twist the Uke's ankle outwards while scooping his leg up and push him back until he falls. The Tori dodges the Uke's kick and grabs the Uke's ankle, pressing his right hand against the sole of the Uke's foot to scoop the leg up so that he falls on his back. The Tori places his right hand on the sole of the Uke's foot and twists the ankle outwards. By twisting the ankle outwards, the Tori is able to gain more control over the Uke. The fifth technique is Yokogeri, side kick. Observe the timing of how the Tori pulls the Uke down on his back. The Uke tries to kick the Tori's right side. The Tori deflects the kick with his right forearm and moves directly behind the Uke. He then places both hands on the Uke's shoulders and pulls him down on his back to the right. The Tori seizes the Uke's momentary loss of balance to pull him down. Note the timing carefully. From Yokogeri to the techniques against armed attack. First, with the dagger. When handling a weapon, the uke should kneel on his left knee. The first technique, tsukake, thrust. The tori locks the uke's left elbow with an ude hishigi tegatame. Before the uke can strike with the dagger, the tori restrains the uke's left elbow and strikes his eyes with his left hand, fingers extended. The tori then grabs the uke's wrist from above and twists it upwards, pulling the uke down diagonally forward to control him with an ude hishigi tegatame. The tori steps in with his right foot and takes the uke's elbow in his right hand, thumb up. He then holds the palm of his left hand in front of the uke's eyes to blind him and grabs the uke's wrist from above and twists it upwards. He then pulls the uke down and controls him. Second technique, Chokutsuki, straight thrust. When applying the Ude Hishigi Wakingatame, the Tori should break the Uke's balance to the upper right corner. The Uke attempts to stab the Tori in the stomach. The Tori turns his body slightly to the right and grabs the Uke's right elbow. He then delivers an uppercut with his right and, taking the Uke's wrist from below, breaks his balance. <laughs> The Tori delivers an uppercut to the Uke's jaw with his right fist. The Tori takes the Uke's right wrist from below with his right hand supporting his hold from above with his left hand and breaks the Uke's balance to control him. Hey! 
The third technique, Nanametsuki, slanting stand. The tori applies a kotegaishi, followed by an udehishigi tengatame to control him and remove the dagger. The uke raises the dagger above his head to attempt to stab the left side of the tori's neck. The tori grabs the uke's wrist from the top with his left hand in a kotegaishi and applies pressure to the wrist with his right hand to bring the uke down. The tori then presses his right knee against the uke's right side and slides his right hand underneath to catch the uke's wrist. The tori should be careful not to grab the blade. From Nanametsuki, the last technique involving a dagger, to the techniques using a stick. The uke kneels with his left knee to pick up the stick and holds it so that it's pointed to the floor. First technique, furiage, upswing against stick. The tori pushes up the uke's chin and throws him with a mingi o sotogari. The uke steps back with his right foot and raises the stick diagonally. Before he can strike, the tori blocks the uke's right arm with his left forearm and pushes his chin up with the bottom of his right palm and throws him with a migi o sotogari. Note the way the tori uses his hands. The uke performs ukemi while holding the stick. <coughs> Second technique, furi oroshi, downswing against stick. <coughs> The tori evades the uke strike and hits him in the face using the back of his fist and follows with a tegatana strike between the uke's brows. At the same time, he steps forward and seizes the stick to push the uke down. The uke should aim at hitting the left side of the tori's head. The tori evades the blow and strikes the uke in the face with the side of his left fist. He follows with a strike between the brows with the knife edge of his left hand and starts to push the uke. At the same time, he grabs the stick with his right hand, steps forward and forces the uke to fall on his back as he takes the stick away. <coughs> Third technique, morote tsuki, two-hand thrust against stick. The uke attempts to thrust the stick in the solar plexus with both hands. 
The Tory deflects the stick with his right hand and grabs it with his left, then right, to lock Pilke's elbow and throw him to the front right. Note the Tory's hands. He deflects the stick with his right and grabs it with his left thumb down. He then slips his right hand under the Uke's left arm to grab the stick from the top between the Uke's hands and advances in Sugiyashi to lock the Uke's elbow and throw him to the front right. From Morotetsky to the techniques involving the pistol. First technique, shomen zuke, pistol at the abdomen. When grabbing the pistol, the tori should not move his feet. The uke steps forward with his right foot and presses the pistol against the tori's stomach. As he reaches toward the tori's hips to search him, the tori twists his hips and grabs the barrel, making sure the pistol is not pointing at him. Second technique, Koshigamai. The Yuke holds the pistol at his right side and orders the Tori to raise his hands as he steps towards him. The moment the Yuke reaches out to search the Tori's hips, the Tori twists his hips to the left and grabs the barrel, turning the muzzle to the left, and with Kiai uses the pistol to hit the Yuke in the face. When disarming the Yuke, the Tori twists the Yuke's right wrist reversely. The Tori reacts as soon as he feels the Uke reaching for his hips. The Tori returns the pistol to the Uke with both hands, the barrel pointed to the Uke's left. The final technique, Hymen Zuke, pistol against the back. The Tori grabs the pistol in the way of Kotegaishi. The Uke barks Te O Agero and presses the pistol against the middle of the Tori's back. The moment he feels the Uke reaching for hips, the Tori twists his body to the right, lowering his shoulder to avoid the muzzle. He then controls the uke's right arm and grabs the barrel to disarm and throw the uke. When grabbing the pistol, the tori should grab the barrel thumb up. Jaime Zuke marks the completion of the techniques against armed attack.
Each Kodokan Goshinjutsu technique begins with the uke and tori advancing towards each other. As soon as the distance is right, the uke attacks and the tori responds and restrains him. Since the two are always in motion, there's a risk of performing the attack and controlling movements in an imprecise manner. The uke and tori must therefore make a special effort to perform each movement correctly and with precision step by step. When practicing Kodokan Goshinjutsu, it is important to take it step by step so that each technique is mastered correctly before proceeding to the next.